Oh, poncho, poncho, poncho. We woke up this morning and I went to feed the dogs and I realized, oh my God, I don't have any more dog food. We've got no more chicken, we've got no more rice, we've got no more kibbles, no more apples, cat, no none of that. So we're going to get dog food, Pancho. And I chose you to come with me this morning. Are you happy about it? He doesn't care. Here we are, Pet Smart, time to get some dog food, Pancho. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about that, Pancho? He's like, I don't really care about the kibbles. I want the chicken. You know, we're about to get out in the car, don't you? That's why you doesn't stand up. You can't sit still now. Look at you. Yeah, we're about to get out, Pancho. We're about to get out. Uh, 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 uh. No, no, Pancho. No, no, no. Good boy. Come on. No. Uh, 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 uh. There you go. Good boy. That's what I was waiting on you to do, Poncho. Make up your mind, Poncho. What bag you want? You got a lot of options, buddy. I ain't got time to sit here all day. What bag do you want? Hmm? Uh -uh. I got a feeling you about to try and spray. What you looking at? She ain't messing with you. She ain't thinking about you. Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> he or she? He? he? Yeah, he. What's his name? Poncho. Poncho. Mm -hmm. Poncho? You a big dude. You look like you a bully. Like, you drag him around. He, well, he kind of does. He tries. He look like it. <laughs> but he's soft. Aww. It's the girl who weighs about 20 pounds less than him who is the crazy one. <laughs> you too. He is. <laughs> Pancho, I'm going in the store to get the chicken and the carrots. I already got rice at home. Hey, don't you mess up my car. I'm gonna let the window down for you a little bit. That way you get some nice air. It's not really hot outside. So you'll be all right. But don't you mess up my car. For all of you uh, PETA enthusiasts, it is it's 69 degrees outside. It's not hot at all. So the dog's going to be fine. Pancho, don't you mess up my car. The wild thing about it all is I've never left him in the vehicle by himself before. So I'm curious to get back to this footage and just to see how he's acting. No, and here's the crazy thing they don't have big chicken just yet I don't even see it on the oven thing so we got a minute so, all right womp womp all right they did not have the other chicken so we gotta get creative I'll come back to the steaks Chicken breasts. Should I get these? Cause I could always just get these and boil them and give them to them. This is like one meal between all the dogs. I will pass, sir. Publix did not have the chicken. They actually started hadn't started make have not started making them yet. So I have to come back a little later in the day. I could have gotten the raw chicken breast and then just bake it myself, all right? 
but that would have been a little bit more expensive than I wanted it to be. The chickens that are pre-made that I normally get, one chicken lasts two meals between all the dogs. And with doing it that way, one of those pieces of chicken wouldn't have lasted two meals at all. But I'm back at the car. See what Poncho's got going on. Poncho. Hey boy. You all right? You good? You made it? I don't smell pee or anything of that sort. So good job, boy. Good job. I was concerned. I didn't know if you were gonna make it, buddy. All right, back up. Back up, move, move, move. Good boy, good boy.